Welcome everyone. Today I need to show you a very interesting chart from Plan B regarding Bitcoin market cycles. We'll talk about some crazy news about FTX. I need to give you an update regarding the trading bots right here and much, much more. But first, let's just see what the majority of the altcoins are doing for the past couple of days because Bitcoin, for example, hasn't really moved much. All we have gotten is some kind of a very small push towards upside. And also, I would say majority of the altcoins are following Bitcoin. Ethereum 1% down, majority of the altcoins maybe even stink at the exact same place as yesterday. But if we do scroll slightly lower, we are going to see that Chainlink has gotten approximately 17% pump in the past 24 hours. And if we go right now on the chart of Chainlink, it really looks like significant push towards the upside directly into our weekly high term time frame area of resistance. Now, why is this happening for the Chainlink chart? Because it looks like that two whales, probably the same person, bought approximately 800,000 link, which is worth approximately 6 million US dollars. So it looks like yes, chaining because of some major protocol updates is pushing towards the upside. And in my opinion, if you're looking to buy any altcoins, Chainlink is the one to actually buy. Personally, I am already buying. I already hold a lot of Chainlink and I'm as of right now still accumulating because for example, if we go on the weekly, maybe even the monthly time frame using the logarithmic chart, it really looks like that we haven't really gotten any major pumps right here as of now. And because of that, I still think it's a good buy, great project. And because they are doing right now some major updates, I do think it's the altcoin worth holding for a longer period of time. Looking at the Bitcoin chart right now, it looks like that yes we are seeing a very small push towards some side we have not even been able to take the liquidity above our previous high because it looks like it was some kind of a very small lower high now going with our volume and measuring the entire upper price action with the volume indicator it looks like yes the point of control the biggest volume cluster was exactly at this specific area and it looks like because of our volume level we actually got this specific push down of approximately 2.73 percent. Now, in my opinion, the point of control right here, it's not really the biggest level of resistance. And that is why, of course, yesterday I did not mention this specific level. And I still do think if there is going to be another push towards the upside on the Bitcoin chart, I am still as of right now searching for a brand new short or a sell position approximately at the area of value area high. More about that slightly later. But right now, I think we need to talk about one of the biggest support areas that in my opinion, can definitely hold if it's actually going to be hit in the upcoming days, in the upcoming weeks. Most probably you know that for the past couple of months, we have talked about the Elliott Wave price structure, not only on a lower term time frame, but also looking on the four hourly and also looking, for example, on the daily time frame. With the push towards the upside we got the other day, topping out at approximately 31,900 US dollars, in my opinion, we can definitely say that the five wave price structure towards the upside is right to finish on Bitcoin. I would say first impulsive alley wave right here. We got the second alley wave, which was the correction. Then we got the third alley wave, which is the most impulsive alley wave, some kind of a correction right here, and another impulse towards the upside for us to actually get the fifth alley wave. Of course, every single time the five wave price structure is finished on Bitcoin, we are simply right now searching for some kind of an ABC correction, which of course could take place in the upcoming days, in the upcoming weeks. And why is this very, very important? Because of course, as mentioned before, we can be looking for a potential brand new short or a sell position of Bitcoin. And on top of that, because Bitcoin potentially is going to give us another opportunity for us to be looking for a brand new long or a buy position and for us to maybe even buy more altcoins, for example, Ethereum, and as we mentioned before, maybe even Chainlink. But what is one of the best support areas you need to be aware if Bitcoin is actually going to see a push towards downside? I would actually go with our Fibonacci retracement tool from our swing low back to our swing high. The first First theoretical target we should be aware of is actually 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level at 28,000 US dollars. But why this right here is not the biggest support level is simply because looking what was happening at this specific area, we went very quickly towards the upside. That being said, not any major support areas were built at the area of 28,000 US dollars. But what you can see right now additionally is that the golden Fibonacci ratio is aligning literally 
perfectly with the monthly high term time from support level. So if Bitcoin in the upcoming days do see a push towards the downside, I would definitely say major support area, golden Fibonacci ratio, and also the monthly support level where potentially we can be looking for a brand new long or a buying position. Of course, I'm already holding a brand new long or a buying position on Bitcoin, but nevertheless, I am going to look for another long or a buy at the area of 27,200 if Bitcoin is actually going to see a push towards downside. But right now, I also also do need to share with you a very interesting chart bitcoin market cycle chart from plan b he's right now saying to us that we are as of right now trading for bitcoin at the area of blue and if we look like that blue means early bull so it looks like that every single time we have gotten the blue color on the chart we have then gotten a very explosive and an impulsive push towards the upside on the bitcoin chart itself so it looks like that blue and also the red area is the area where we should be looking for buys not only on the bitcoin chart itself but of course also on different altcoins so plan b is right now saying to us most probably we are not looking for a brand new lower low most probably we are not looking for bitcoin to actually go below 15,000 US dollars area. Most probably, if there is actually going to be a push towards downside, it's actually going to be a higher low, and we can expect much higher targets for Bitcoin and, of course, also for the altcoins, maybe even in the upcoming years and, of course, also in the upcoming months. So, because of that, I would simply say, looking at this specific chart and, of course, also looking as of right now with the every trend, with the market structure we are seeing on the daily and, of course, also on the weekly time frame, I would say it is a good time to buy Bitcoin, it is a good time to buy different altcoins, and I would definitely say if there is going to be another push towards some side, we can definitely be looking for a brand new long or a buying position of Bitcoin. Of course, if you are looking to buy, if you're looking to trade Bitcoin, I would go with the free 30,000 US dollars free trading bonus available right now on the Bybit exchange right here with the first link down below in the description because all you have to do, click the first link down below in the description, make sure you do create an account and after initial deposit, secure the 30,000 US dollars free trading bonus. With the bonus, you can trade, you can buy different altcoins and definitely withdraw the profits to your own wallet but what we can also see right now with the bitcoin chart is that as of right now we are trading exactly at the bottom of our horizontal range of course knowing that we are at the bottom of our horizontal range and knowing that we are trading the range until it actually breaks we are not looking for any short or sell positions at the bottom of our horizontal range so i would say only a buy position if you're actually looking to trade bitcoin in the upcoming hours i would say it is slightly more risky to actually go with a brand new long or a buy simply because looking right now at the average trend for example on the one hour time frame it is always best to look for long or buy positions when we are actually in a super strong uptrend as of now on the one hour time frame bitcoin is not in a super strong uptrend and i would say of course better if we are actually going to see a push towards the upside we can be looking for a short or a sell so as mentioned before i would be looking for a potential short or a sell position approximately at the golden fibonacci ratio and the value area high golden pocket is going to come up at approximately 30,000 or actually 31,000 US dollars, measuring the entire upper price action once again. Value area high is going to come slightly lower, but I would still say after we start breaking our previous high, after our highs or the liquidity above 30,500 US dollars area is going to be taken, I'm already searching for a potential short rate sell, preferably again at the golden Fibonacci ratio. But also right now, we need to mention some crazy news that are happening with FTX right here. FTX sues SBF and they're potentially looking to buy a survival island. If we do scroll down right here, you're definitely going to see FTX has taken legal action against its former SEO, Sam Bankman Fried, and other key executives who were the part of the now bankrupt crypto exchange. The exchange aimed to recover over 1 billion in funds that were allegedly misappropriated. Now let's scroll down a little bit because you're going to see that some kind of a memo that was exchanged between Bankman Fried and an officer of the FTX came out and you're going to see according to the lawsuit the non-profit arm of FTX known as the FTX Foundation was allegedly planning to buy the small island nation of Nauru. Additionally the lawsuit revealed that the island's purpose was to serve as a refugee for members of the effective altruism movement. So we can definitely see that some crazy stuff are going on 
right now with FTX and of course also with Sam Bankman Fried. They are simply trying to not go in jail and to maybe even escape with money from FTX customers. But also right now, I need to give you a very quick update regarding the OKX trading bots. Yes, it looks like that as of right now, they are already making some very small profit. I actually deployed four different trading bots, one for Ethereum, one for Bitcoin, one for Cover USDT and one for Loon USDT. Of course, as mentioned yesterday, every single week I'm going to add 2000 US dollars to those bots because of course this profit it's nothing major but I actually noticed that most probably I'm going to turn off Ethereum and of course also the Bitcoin bot. Why so? Because in my opinion it's much better to actually buy Bitcoin and to buy Ethereum and to hold it rather than actually trade them with the bots. But for example if we go with Cover or Loon USDT that I actually deployed the bots to you can actually see that both of those cryptocurrencies are very much range bounded and in my opinion they are perfect to actually deploy the bots to. So most probably in the upcoming week I'm going to increase the size in some of those bots right here. Maybe I'm going to switch off some of them and of course also maybe I'm going to search for some other ones but nevertheless thank you very much for watching if you haven't already smashed up the like button because maybe even 400 likes possible and of course if you want to trade with us if you maybe even want to try the bots out the links are down below in the description. Have a great day and peace out.